Hello everybody. This is a quick video demonstration on a circular buffer using Qt data structure. I've written a, a C program for a circular buffer and let's go ahead and test this out. So uh, my buffer contains um, a buffer uh, length of five elements. I can choose anything I want. And for, uh, for sake of simplicity, I've chosen five. Now, um, it says uh, choose one to write characters and choose two to read characters. If I choose two, there is nothing inside the queue, obviously. So it's going to pop out an error saying uh, the queue is empty. Therefore, I need to write something at first before I read it out. So I'm going to go ahead and write one, uh, choose one, and uh, I can type any characters I want to write in the, in the queue. As you see, R comes in first because it was the first character. I chose Yan, P, Y, right? So I, I entered four characters in the queue, but if I write in, in one more, it's going to pop out an error saying I, uh, that uh, the queue is full. That This is because my buffer length is five, and so I can write only four characters in here because it's a one slot open logic. So uh, before I write any more characters, I need to take to remove characters from the queue. So let's go ahead and choose option two. And as you see, R comes out first because it was the first character that was entered inside the queue. If I choose option two again, N should come out of the queue because that was the second character that was entered in the queue. So as you see, N comes out of the queue. Now, now that I've taken out two characters from the queue, I can go ahead and type in two characters inside the queue. Let's see, uh, G goes in here, and uh, let's type P, P goes in here. So if I go ahead and type one more character, say L, it's going to give me error because the only it's, uh, it's on full capacity right now. So this is how a circular buffer works. So if I choose option two again, it's going to pop out the P and I can write additional one more character. So uh, this shows that uh, circular buffer is working right. And uh, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.